Mike, is it that time of the show? Yes, I believe it is that time of the show. Okay. It's the Dixon Baseball Dictionary segment of the show where Mike pulls out his dictionary and Seth does too. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. All right. All right. Is whatever. I don't even know who it is that says that. He's an actor. He's on car commercial. Matthew McConaughey. There you go. There you go. That's the guy. I don't know. He seems too laid back for me, but let's go to Paige because we opened the show with a 12 minute soliloquy regarding oh, no. hot dogs. Let's go to page 387. 387. Where, uh, you know, the green monster, the green pea, I, I, the green pea, green pea is a rookie, one with wow. little experience, a real novice. Casey Stengel's favorite term for a young and inexperienced player. How about that? Yeah. One regarded as an element of Stengelese. The term showed up in 1912. I wasn't even going to go with that one. You're the green pea of the American League. I love it. That's a good wow. one. All right. Greens word. I don't know. Ground on which grass is grown. Interesting. Interesting. But the one that it sticks out to me the most is the green weenie. The green weenie. A plastic gag store hot dog painted green, which was first brought into play by the Pittsburgh Pirates in 1960. Trainer Danny Whelan noted that when it was pointed at an opposing pitcher, when he was given the green weenie, the Pirates started hitting. But when it was pointed at a Pirates pitcher, strikeouts materialized. They went into mass production and were sold as souvenirs in 1966. Isn't this awesome? When the green weenie was waved or shaken in mass by Pirates fans, who knew that they had a tradition in Pittsburgh? A curse supposedly fell upon visiting teams. One was wielded by sportscaster Bob Prince in the booth to put hexes and jinxes on opponents of the Pirates on the way to the 1971 National League pennant. There you go. <laughs> Green weenie. And then an alternate definition. A pitch that a batter does not like. No. Oh. Refer <laughs> Jim Brosnan, the long season 1960, referred to, quote, slipping the Green weenie past, end quote, Ernie Banks. It's amazing how those two terms couldn't be any more different than each other, but it's the same thing. It's the same word, same phrase, same expression. The green, but green. it's just completely different usage. And that's amazing. Um, I, there's also a picture and you can find, uh, I mean, it's an unofficial sponsor of the show, but Paul Dixon's baseball dictionary. Um, on page 386, I can't help but say, see green light. And I see, a picture of President Franklin D. Roosevelt, uh, who loved baseball, and he's underneath the the word green light, which is a coach's sign flashed to a batter, allowing him to swing. It is most commonly given on a 3-0 count. So you see, you'll you'll hear that all the time, like you know, Mike and I might say it, or you'll hear it on a broadcast. It's like, I wonder if he's got the green light here on a three and O count. Typically, you know, with runners on a lot of times it's, it's used to see if the, he, if he gets a fastball right where he wants it, he has permission to just swing out of his shoes to try to, you know, put some runs on the board. Yeah. I notice there's a lot of green. There's a lot of green in baseball. Have you noticed that? I mean, there's almost four or five pages dedicated to green things. Well, okay. Three pages, but the interesting part about this Franklin D Roosevelt, uh, photo that you're talking about under green light, I don't know what it, they, you know, there's a guy I know that's an editor for an organization called player profile. It could probably do wonders to the Dixon's baseball dictionary. Cause when you look at this picture and the caption green light, it has nothing to do with what it says about president Franklin D Roosevelt here. It's just like, Somebody accidentally copied and pasted green light underneath this picture. Cause it really, there's nothing. What does Franklin D Roosevelt have to do with, with the green light? I don't, I'm, I fail to see the connection, but nonetheless, yeah. I love the Paul Dixon baseball dictionary and you can win 
a copy of the Paul base, uh, Paul Dixon's baseball dictionary by uh, listening in, tuning in, at downloading the MLB play app and joining our 137 plus members of our beat the streak group on the app play beat the streak. You could win one of these from us. You could win uh, just for having the longest streak of the season and you could win $5.7 million from major league baseball. Yeah. Join the group. The links in the description, Mike, what would you like to tell the people, how can they find you? Um, what do you think the Cubs outlook is for the rest of, uh, you know, the summer, anything you'd like to talk about? Well, I've got two, uh, anybody who's listening or anybody who tunes in here and wants to reach out to me at Twitter on at, at Michael Jones, I a on Twitter or at long live baseball with one L. Um, you can, uh, I got two tickets to tonight's Cubs Reds game, six fifteen start at Wrigley field. Anybody who reaches out there, yours, uh, Sunday, my family and I are going to go up to Wrigley to watch the game and then Memorial day. Um, I'm not sure what's going to happen with those tickets, but, uh, it's too expensive to stay in Chicago. So we're not going to the whole weekend, but we are going to pick to get a game in. I don't know. I don't know what to say about the Cubs right now, Seth. It's, uh you know, kind of all that we've been talking about, isn't it? Yeah. And the same goes with the Cardinals. Uh, we, there's just a lot. I mean, it's the, kind of the same old, same old, like I, I think that's the best way to say it with, as far as the Cardinals go, I don't know if that uh, applies perfectly to the Cubs or not, but yeah, we'll see what happens. It's going to be interesting to see like when Tyler O'Neill, Dylan Carlson comes back, what happens, you know, it, what are they going to do with Steven Matz? I think that's the biggest problem right now. My guess is the Cardinals will probably hope it sorts itself out. There's nothing to see here. No problems at all. <laughs> um, but our high, pro, our biggest, uh, you know, free agent pitcher that we've signed since Mike Leake is not, is it, like, you know, Mike Leake. Oh, my God. The same th if we're mentioning him in the same breath as Mike Leake, and we're talking about free agent pitching signings, it probably means you haven't hit on your free agent pitching signings and you haven't done enough to address starting pitching over the years, but I digress. You can find me at Seth underscore D-I-E-W-O-L-D. I am also the editor at playerprofiler.com. So you can, if you like fantasy football, check that out. Talented writers are doing good work all of the time in the news and article section, free fantasy football advice. Um, so go check that out. Um, and yeah, like and subscribe the video. Subscribe to the channel. We are growing and growing and growing. And we cannot thank our uh, valued listeners, our uh, you know, our fans enough for tuning into the show. Uh, you're the reason we do it. We're trying to build this baseball community um, of people who just like to get together, maybe grab a beer and just watch baseball and enjoy this perfect game that uh rob manfred is tr constantly trying to ruin so yeah i can't wait to get to the green cathedral tomorrow <laughs>